Yes, super volcano. Warning sign should trigger mother of all evacuation. Yellowstone Volcano's eerie warning signs that should signal the mother of all evacuations were pinpointed by scientists. Yellowstone, located in Wyoming, U.S., is one of 20 known supervolcanoes, a volcano that has had an eruption with a volcanic explosivity index of 8. It has erupted three times in the past 2.1 million years, with the most recent at least 1,000 times bigger than Mount St. Helen's eruption that devastated America in 1980. Each of the last three eruptions formed calderas, large cauldron-like hollows that form upon the emptying of a magma chamber. Volcanoes sometimes empty their magma stores so quickly that the overlying land collapses into the emptied magma chamber, forming a depression. The Yellowstone hotspot which lies beneath the surface, is believed to have produced at least a dozen super eruptions in the past 16.5 million years, prompting intense research at the picturesque National Park. Scientists continue to closely monitor Yellowstone for any signs that it is preparing to blow its top, but it is widely accepted that any eruption in the next 10,000 years is extremely unlikely. This has not stopped field workers studying the caldera, with some of their work explored during the Naked Science documentary, Super Volcano, in the spring of 2003, scientists set to work after a series of strange events occurred. Geysers were bursting into life, new cracks in the ground appeared and satellite pictures revealed changes were happening beneath the surface. The documentary's narrator explained that all volcanoes give out warnings when they are preparing to erupt. And at Yellowstone, this would trigger the mother of all evacuations, he said. The first sign of a Yellowstone eruption would probably be the ground rising. Just before Mount St. Helens erupted, the mountain bulged, growing five feet per day. A similar kind of uplift would be likely at Yellowstone. As magma deep below the surface of the Earth rises, it splits the rocks above. In Yellowstone, it would probably lift the whole caldera, an area the size of Houston and Dallas, 10 feet or more into the air. He continued, weeks or even months before a Yellowstone super eruption, these warning signs would trigger the mother of all evacuations. A 60 miles around the volcano would become a hazard zone. Officials would place on alert the surrounding region, up to 200 miles, readying people for a violent eruption. As people evacuated the area, geologists would look out for new warning signs that would tell them an eruption is imminent. Professor Bill McGuire, one of the world's leading volcanologists, told the documentary that, swarms of earthquakes would be seen as fresh magma moves into the system and breaks the rock above it. Such earthquakes produce distinctive waveforms on seismographs as the crack of rocks fracturing creates a sharp rise that fades quickly. Long before an eruption, the hazard zone and surrounding area would be hit by these earthquakes. Just before an eruption, the signal produced by the earthquakes would give way to a very different one, a long, continuous vibration. Professor McGuire explained, now when magma has opened a space for itself, it will start to move through that. <laughs>